the world is a better place. The day is happier when we're able to catch up to Tennille Towns. How are you? Oh, that's so nice of you to say. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Paul? You know, I'm doing well, and thank you. One of the things, you know, you got to look for the silver linings in a, in a pandemic. And one of them, I think, is this. Normally, when you have good news to share, you do it over the phone. We'd have a nice interview. But now I actually get to see your face. I know. I get to see yours, too. I really love that. This is so much better. So here we are on June 25th. You do have some terrific news to share with the audience. What is it? Oh, I'm so excited. I have a new song today. It's called Girl Who Didn't Care. And my heart could just not be happier to be starting the season of this new music with sharing the song with you guys. Thanks for asking about it. Uh, as is usual with a lot of your music, I get intrigued by the title alone. <laughs> I love that. Girl who didn't <laughs> care. When I received yes. a bit a bit of an advanced sneak peek, which I appreciate and thank you. Um, yeah, so glad. <laughs> I was intrigued by the title. What are we trying to say with Girl Who Didn't Care? Okay, so I feel like I've been walking a lot around my neighborhood this year, like something about putting one foot in front of the other it's just felt really therapeutic to me. And I've noticed so many different versions of like sidewalk chalk art. And I'm hearing, you know, neighbor kids laughing and they're in their backyards. And, and something about that, I think, brought me to this place of reflecting on what our courage looks like as that fearless little kid who's just not afraid of anything, believes in everything, doesn't care what anybody says or thinks, or doesn't care how far away a crazy dream might be. And I think that courage, for me, the courage of the, the seven-year-old kid that I used to be, who was singing along to Shania Twain in the backseat, dreaming of getting to do music someday, I owe so much to gratitude to, to that belief that she had. I know that's why I get to be doing the thing that I love to do now. And um, I think it's so important to hold on to that courage. I think this past year has really brought me in a season of reflection and kind of just thinking about how important that is and, and how much more of that I want in my life now. And it was really fun to get to, to write a song about that. And I still feel so inspired by all the little dreamers out there that I get to meet out on the road or get to watch, you know, singing along. It, it just, it means the world to me to think about them. So I think the song is kind of all encompassing of those vibes for me. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I've noticed myself and I get out and I jog and I walk a lot myself and, and I find myself paying extra attention to sidewalk chalk, but only Tennille Towns would go out for a walk and see sidewalk chalk and come out of it with a great song. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. <laughs> I think it's uh. I don't know, this year has definitely challenged me to be digging creatively for things to want to sing about and say. And there's been so many months where I just have struggled and going, OK, I don't know. I got nothing right now. But I really am grateful for the moments like that that just found me on that day walking, going, huh, this is something to think about. And I think it's like that quote that talks about that there's always flowers for those who look for them. And I think that's true. You know, it just kind of depends on how we're or maybe see in the world, but I love that you get to pay, you pace around your neighborhood too. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but the difference between you and I, you're a great songwriter. I come back and I think of all the things I forgot to do at work, all the things I got to <laughs> do, you know, pick up at the grocery oh, store. <laughs> I do those things too. It's all, all at the same time. Don't worry. <laughs> well, congratulations on the release of Girl Who Didn't Care. And it's always nice to look forward to what's new and what's coming. But I can't, not take a look back at the success of the Lemonade Stand. Congratulations on Country Album of the Year at the Junos the other day. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. It's still so crazy to hear that out loud, but um, it really just, it means the world to me to know that people heard this record and made these songs be a part of their lives and listened to them and to have, you know, felt that celebrated at the Junos was just a crazy and wild beautiful thing i'm so thankful you must be thrilled with what the lemonade stand accomplished i am and i mean such a crazy time to release the record in a really you know wild state of the world but i feel so thankful for the adventure that that music has taken me on from you know the earlier days of writing it and getting to travel and you know open for so many of my heroes on the road with those songs and then finally getting to share the album and 
the the things that it's it's really taken me through in this past year of, of the world being shut down is just I'm so thankful that that music exists for us to turn to and so thankful that that record was a part of the season of my life right now. Well, you're going to have to make a little room somewhere for that Juno Award when it arrives in the mail, because there are already <laughs> some pieces of hardware up there. And, you know, best new female artist at the, uh, um, the Academy of Country Music Awards. But you also won in another category there, too, that I just think must be such a cool thing to be a, a part of. And it's the musical event of the year. Fooled Around and Fell in Love won an ACM Award. And Miranda Lambert, L. King, you had Marin Morris in on that, Kaylee Hammock, just an incredible group of artists. And it's so nice to have one of our own in that. How, how much fun Aww. was that to work on? Thanks for saying that. It was so fun. I mean, I literally was listening to everyone's voices coming through the headphones at the studio, just going, this is real life. Like I'm awake right now. I think I am hearing all of these incredible styles and everyone's got such a different, you know, niche, I think in their music lane that came together for this collaboration. And really the song representing the tour that Miranda invited all of us on was just the coolest thing to have that as like a time capsule of our time on the road together. I mean, I had the time of my life getting to be a part of that tour and just, getting to to watch Miranda's show every night and make you know such great friends I feel like you know those girls are 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 people in my life that I'll always you know be turned into as friends and I'm I'm really thankful that song brought us together so that was very very cool to celebrate at the ACMs definitely <laughs> Well, congratulations on the release of Girl Who Didn't Care. And I know it's just the first of a bunch of releases in 2021, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep you on time, but there's someone named Julia who's going to make sure of it. So <laughs> I have to let you go soon. But you are going to be on the road again with Brothers Osborne, which is going to be a lot of fun. Yes, I cannot wait for that tour. And my heart has just missed live music so much. And I, I love those guys. I love their music. I love who they are as human beings. And I just, I'm so excited to get to be a part of that tour. And I promise, like, I can't wait to see everyone back at Canada. It, it, as soon as we possibly can travel and be back, I promise I'll be there. <laughs> And we'll be ready for you. Congratulations on the uh, release of Girl Who Didn't Care. Where Thanks, can people Paul. find Tennille Towns on socials to uh, see more awesome videos and pics of that dog? Ah, uh, thank you, little Sam. Uh, there are pictures of him on all the places. Instagram, the Twitter, Facebook, everything. Well, we'll be there. So <laughs> thanks for the chat, Paul. It's always so good to get to talk to you. And thank you for the new music because it feels that when we need a song, Tennille Towns is there. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you for saying that. Oh, I really can't wait to see you soon, Paul. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. Stay well. Enjoy some ice cream, won't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.